Hello world, I'm Alan, and in this video, we're gonna make a bulldozer robot. It'll move forward while clearing everything in its path except for bedrock. That includes obsidian and any gravel that happens to fall in front of it. I'm using the Lua programming language. I've linked to videos about Lua and the concepts we'll be using below. If you don't know Lua, you can check them out or just watch along to see if this type of programming looks like something you might enjoy. Now, let's get started. I'll be working with Scout the robot here. Scout's ID is zero, so we'll be using that folder in VS Code to edit our programs. We'll start by making a new program called test underscore bulldozer.lua. Inside it, I'll add a sleep statement with two as the argument, and then I'll also add turtle.forward. The sleep two just gives us a couple seconds to get out of the terminal before the bot moves so we can actually see it go. Turtle forward will move Scout forward one block as long as there's nothing in the way. Let's run this just to verify everything works. And now that we've got it going, we can start our library file. I'll do that by creating a library folder along with a new file in it called move.lua. I'm calling it move.lua instead of moveforward.lua because we'll be adding more movement functions to it in other videos. Our first step in the move file is to set it up so we can access its functions from other programs. We'll do that by making a local variable with an empty table and then returning that variable at the end of the file. The next step is to add the function to move the bot forward. We need to start the name of the function with the name of the variable we just created. Let's call it move.forward. We'll add a turtle.forward statement inside the function to get us going. To test things are working, let's drop back into test bulldozer, require the library, and then call move.forward to see if everything's connected properly. That's looking good. Now, let's set up so we can send in a number of steps we want the bot to move forward. We'll do that with an argument that gets assigned to the steps variable inside our function. We can then use that steps variable with a for loop to move the bot forward as far as we told it to go. That's looking good too, but there's one thing I don't like about it. We always have to pass a number to the function. Otherwise, we'll get this error. That's not exactly a bug, but it'd be nicer if we didn't have to pass a number if we only want the bot to go forward one step. I'll deal with that by adding an if statement. If no argument is passed to the function, the value of steps ends up being nil. So we'll check for nil, and if we find it, we'll update the value of steps to one. That'll give our for loop something to work with. Now we can still pass a number if we want to go a certain number of steps, or we can call the function without an argument to just go one. We've got the bot moving, but we haven't dealt with anything in front of it. Let's start doing that by adding a turtle.dig statement. This puts us in pretty good shape, except for one thing, gravity blocks, things like gravel and sand. If a bot digs out a block that has gravel above it, the gravel falls and blocks the way. That prevents the bot from moving forward, which means it'll fall short of the distance we told it to travel. Let's look at two bots to show what I mean. We'll tell both bots to go forward five steps, turn around, and then come back those same five steps. The first bot has a single line of blocks in front of it. The second bot has those same blocks, but with some gravel thrown on top. When we run the programs, the first bot works as expected but the bot that had to deal with the gravel ends up further back. Because it couldn't move forward while it was dealing with the gravel, the bot didn't move as far as it expected. But when it turned around, it was able to move all five steps because it had already cleared out the gravel. That's why it ended up in the wrong place. To deal with this, we need to separate the digging part of our process from the moving part. That way, we'll only try to move forward when the path is clear. The turtle.detect function will work great here. It returns true whenever there's a solid block in front of the bot. So we can use it with a while loop and move our dig statement inside there. That'll keep the bot digging until the path is clear. When it is, the while loop stops and our bot executes the move forward command. Now we can tell our bot how far we want it to go and it'll get there as long as it doesn't run out of fuel or hit bedrock. We'll cover how to deal with those problems and some of the other videos linked below. If you'd like to grab the code for these programs, it's linked down there as well. And that's it for this one. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe so I can grow the channel and continue to make more content. And be sure to check out the other videos that add backwards and turning functions, as well as learning how to deal with bedrock and fuel. Until then, be kind and take care.